Welcome back everyone, we're back with some more Amnesia the Dark Descent Part 7. Who knows what's going to happen. We are in the back hall. I literally just walked through that door. So there. Ooh, it's blood. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. Okay. Why? Oh, okay. Okay, we're late. The man. Oh, it got bloody. That's cool. So, where do I go from here? Why? Why did they have to make noise popping over that? No, I came up there. Oh, it makes noise. Oh, right, the elevator. We need to fix the elevator. Machine room, it's locked, and it just so happens I have a key for that room. Look at there! Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Crucifer which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was oh, killed yeah. last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Will Smith? I don't even know if this is the right way, but I can only assume. Oh. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. Huh. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? 
Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenberg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Yeah, good luck with that one, bud. Lover. Oh, team pressure. Cogwheel. Oh, great. Here's cogwheel. on that one though. Need more light. There we go. Now I can see what we're doing. I throw in these boxes. <gasps> Yay! I need to find some gears. Here's a gear. I guess. I'm gonna add all the coal. You can't tell me what to do. I do what I please. If I say it needs more coal, then it needs more coal.
I need to find another gear. Then maybe, just maybe it will work. Ah, here we go. in a storage elevator for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard one which are badly damaged and keep the other ones in an inner study room in case it would crack again. Well, I already installed them. Low. Okay. Anything in here? Oh no, pressure. Under pressure. 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, <laughs> Professor <laughs> Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. Ooh, kinky. So how do I know what's the right pressure sequence though? Okay, so... Pressure! Quit whispering sweet nothings in my ear. I guess. Wait a minute here now. One. Just put these in order. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, right? Maybe? I don't know, let's go try it. Is this room that? Nope. Tell him one more. Da -da -da -da. Is this still lit? 
now pull the bubble out? Uh, I don't know. I'll be back, I guess. I'll figure this out. I'll run back up here first. Let me see. So, I believe... Flip these bad boys back up. This one down, and this one. Wow! Even slow. World on fire. So now, if I pull the lever, bam! She's fucking broken. Hey, Jamie. Yes.